DF insurgents operating at Mori and maybe some uh, reinforcement from Burma side also may attack the state forces at Mori. So with that, the forces were prepared and from large number of days, uh, these kind of attacks were coming. But attacks were coming from far areas, they were not from nearby areas. But yesterday, it started coming from nearby areas. Assam Rifle, uh, along with SDOs, uh, along with CDOs and BSF, they tried their best to thwart the attempt. But meanwhile, one commando boy, whose name is uh, Mr. W. Samarji Maitei, uh, he got head injury. He is of 6th uh, Manipur Rifles. He got head injury and he, uh, by the time he was shifted, he was declared brought dead in Assam Rifles campus. Along with that, two more personnel got injury into that. Then forces kept on firing. After, the, uh, after some lull of incidents, some lull of firing, uh, during the afternoon side, uh, another uh, boy, got hit who was 10 IRB, namely uh, T. Uh, Sileshwar Singh. He also got uh, martyred at the at that place itself. He, When he was trying to come out of his vehicle, he was also hit. <coughs> Along with that, three more personnel got injury. In the evening also, a Pompey bomb landed on the uh, nearby side of uh, nearby side of the uh, campus of SBI and one personnel, Kuban Premanand, got injured. This Kuban Premanand who got injured, he got injury in his stomach. In the night only with the, with the help of doctors and with the help of Casper, he was shifted in a some rifle vehicle from that place to, uh, uh, to Impha and he has been operated upon and he is doing well at this moment. So this incident was there. Soon after these incidents came to light, the forces were rushed to tackle the issue and they tackled also in a big way. While attempt was being made only on commandos, so commandos were running short of ammunition. Ammunition was also shared by Assam Rifle as well as BSF and they kept on uh, tackling the insurgents. Later by evening, all forces combined together uh, launched their massive uh, attack on them and they, they, then they were pushed back. Meanwhile, we also thought that other forces and other kind of other uh, uh, some reinforcement should be sent. So reinforcement was thought of two companies of BSF and two columns of uh, army as well as three, uh, uh, four uh, Caspers to be sent so that in Caspers, uh, the forces who were there along with uh, a joint forces like commando then uh, BSF and then Assam Rifle together can create the quick action teams and they can be located at different places in Moray along with all other uh, Caspers which are located there so that the fighting can be tackled better. So this morning all these four Caspers as well as one company of BSF, two co columns of army have been sent by road and they, by now they have reached uh, Moray. Uh, one more helicopter was requisitioned from uh, MHA and MHA directed the uh, Air Force. One uh, chopper came yesterday night. It was thought to be sent in the night itself, but there were no uh, night landing facility at morning. That is how it could not go in the night. But early in the morning from 6 o'clock, it is doing parties <coughs> and uh, uh, IG Kabi <coughs> has been sent to supervise the operations and supervise uh, the joint uh, command center so that the combined operations and combined dominations of the area can take place. Uh, this has been done and this has happened that that, that helicopter is uh, doing uh, sorties and till now it has done I think more than 4 sorties or 5 sorties today. Uh, moreover, uh, we have taken steps uh, so that all forces can be put together and take action uh, at that particular place. The various kind of coordination meeting was held here and uh, it was also decided that the because commandos location, all these 3 locations which I mentioned, is at a almost subsided area in a ball area. So, and, and militants, if they fire from higher uh, locations, they are sitting ducks and sitting targets. 
So we have decided that the uh, commandos should be located in certain uh, positions from where they can themselves tackle uh, the uh, the on uh, the militants. The uh, joint operations has been identified. Uh, the uh, IG has been sent there, and IG has held the meeting. Or abhi sham se hi operations wahan par chalu ho gaye. Frisking and checking of the uh, area and the domination of hills around the uh, uh, this thing more has also been taken up by the other security forces. So these were the incident which took place in Moray. Along with that, because of the incident in Moray, uh, some uh, uh, issues which caught up nearby, in which one incident uh, happened in Khamba Gok uh, at uh, Thawar, in which a uh, huge number of miscreants tried to storm third IRB and loot the armory. But that attempt was spotted. Later, there was chase from there. And after chasing them from there, they went to SP's office and then they tried to snatch arms there. That was also thwarted. DC's office, they tried to go. After that, uh, they came back to SP's office and exchange of fire took place in which three BSF Jawan got injury. They were also shifted to the hospital. The chasing as well as the combing operation in the area is going on that who all had those kind of incidents. One more incident uh, took place uh, near Kangchuk. <coughs> Yesterday at about 10.30 hours, some cookie militants fired upon uh, uh, approximately 50 rounds towards Sindha and Kanan Bandhiya and uh, in Kangkukki district uh, and around uh, uh, two persons got injury in that. Uh, one person out of them uh, uh, got deceased also. Uh, this person uh, had been found on the hillside. <coughs> another incident which had uh, taken place. Then in Sagolwang there has been firing between cookie militants, uh, uh, fired uh, by cookie militants towards the uh, downside and two persons, two Vaiti volunteers received injury. Uh, so there is uh, actually heightened activity since few days in and around the hills as well as in the Mori area. Just now also we got an information that in Vishnupur area there is a reservoir nearby in that there were three workers were working near Naga village and some Kuki militants came from uh, higher side and they fired upon them. They were seriously injured and I am told some of them might have succumbed to the injuries also. So these heightened activities are cause of concern. Uh, forces everywhere have been alerted and uh, they are trying to uh, tackle the issue but somehow or the other Kuki uh, uh, militants are uh, taking very um, uh, active uh, 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 very active role in uh, uh, targeting the innocent civilians and uh, the security forces uh, all over.